Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. Now today we are reacting to 10 most dangerous prison inmates in the world. Now, from the looks of it, this guy is very messed up. So let's see what he's in there for and what the hell he's capable of. <laughs> um, I'm not looking to go to prison anytime soon. And yeah, you know, whatever I should say. <laughs> but, you know, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be weird. It's going to be funky. If anything like this guy, then let's go from there. And it'll also be interesting to see what they're all in there for, if we, if we get told that. Uh, before we get into this video, please hit the like button down below. Please hit the subscribe button. Please turn this post notifications on and please share this video because we're trying to hit 100 subscribers. So let's get there as soon as possible, guys. Come on, help your boy out. Let's get into it. The 10 most dangerous prison inmates in the world. Right, Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the Supreme, and click the notification bell for more yeah, lit content. Let's get below. rolling. <laughs> Number 10, Moonlight Man. All right, that? for our first dangerous prison yeah, inmate, we've got to turn your attention toward this image Why that was recently that? sent in to our team when we were compiling okay. our list. At first glance, it may appear to be one of the most terrifying prisoners imaginable. In fact, it has long appeared on the internet as a visual accompaniment alongside tales from prisons across the planet. Just take one look and you'll know exactly why he's behind bars. Impossibly tall, gaunt, like something straight out of a horror film. The truth is though, that's exactly what he is. Straight out of 2017's Gerald's Game, a movie based on the novel of the same name by King. This character, the Moonlight Man, was played by the awesome Dutch Ackerman. As well as playing one of the most terrifying prisoners in recent wow, times, he's letter. also played Lurch from the Adams Family okay. and the Giant from Twin Peaks. While his time spent as a dangerous prisoner was purely fictional, visually speaking, he certainly well, lived no, no, up to his for, reputation. No Number fake, nine, the real people. Mark Chopper Reed. Right, Although see. he passed away from liver cancer in 2013, okay. Mark Chopper Reed may well be one of Australia's most dangerous and violent career criminals. Okay. He became so notorious for his criminal methodologies that a film was made about his life, no starring way. Eric Abana in the titular role. Reed was born on November 17, 1954, okay. to a former veteran of the Korean War and his mother, a devout Seventh-day Adventist. From an early age, he was placed into a children's home, where he grew up in the hard knock Melbourne suburbs of Collingwood Thomastown, Fitzroy, and Preston. Okay. As a young adult, Chopper was a notorious street fighter, and he became a leader of the Surrey Road Gang. He All began right. his criminal career by robbing drug dealers from around Australia That's and then nice. violently torturing them until they paid out. He would often use a blowtorch and bolt cutters to commit his violent no deeds. Way. Astoundingly, Reed spent only 13 months outside of prison between the ages of 20 and 38. He no, was convicted of nice. armed robbery, firearms offenses, it assault, arson, impersonating a police officer, no, and kidnapping. Cool. At one point while behind bars, he had both his ears cut off just what? to get out of his cell block. Mark Chopper Reed is the definition of a dangerous prison inmate. Number I mean, eight, now, so the I'm Red not. Ripper. Romanikov Chikatilo may well be the most violent and deranged serial killer of the Soviet era. Also okay. known as the Butcher of Rostov or show. the Rostov Ripper, he was convicted of the sexual assault, mutilation, and murder of at least 43 women and children between oh, 1978 oh, and 1990 What's in the former that? Soviet Union. During his trial, he confessed to 56 murders, although he refused to provide adequate evidence as to where he had buried the bodies. Ultimately, him, the Red Ripper was sentenced to death in October of 1992 too, but Good. it wasn't until later that the gravity of his depraved and hellish deeds were fully realized. For over a decade, in the most remote parts of Russia, the Red Ripper roamed between small mining towns and impoverished cities committing his foul crimes. People, it's thought that the true extent of how many lives he took during this time is still unknown. He remains one of Russia's most notorious historical serial What's killers. Why do they do this stuff, man? I don't understand Number seven, it. Charles Bronson, another okay. notorious criminal who gained Isn't such a reputation <laughs> that they had a film made about their life. 
in this case played by Tom Hardy in 2008's Bronson. Throughout his life, Charles Bronson had gone by many names. Born as Michael Gordon Peterson in 1952, he Michael. earned the bulk of his reputation going by Charleston Bronson, based on the famous American actor of the same name. Currently, oh, okay. he goes by Charles Arthur Salvador, but whatever the title, he is an English career criminal who has been labeled by the British press as the most violent yeah. prisoner in Britain as of 2019. Charles Bronson is currently incarcerated at H.M. Woodhill in Milton Keynes, England, but he has been a resident at some of the most notorious and grisly prisons in the country. His list of convictions Yo, includes kind of, armed yeah. robbery, criminal damage, grievous bodily harm, blackmail, and false imprisonment. And Bro, while in and out of prison, man. he became a legendary bare-knuckle boxer in the East End of London. Although serving a sentence of life imprisonment, he has recently turned to art and painting to work out his inner conflicts. Bro, he's done that. Number he, six, he, he ain't got, no, he ain't Ted that. Kaczynski. You'd be hard pressed to find people that would argue against the that, genius that, of this that, man. You know? In fact, among criminals, Ted Kaczynski has Bro, a mind like no other. Here. However, what he chose to do with that intellect takes things to a whole different level. You may have already heard of Kaczynski, otherwise known as the Unabomber, who nah. deployed a campaign of incendiary explosive devices across the United States of America. Born in Chicago in 1942, Theodore John Kaczynski is currently incarcerated at ADX Florence in Colorado, one of the most impenetrable prisons on the planet, yeah. otherwise referred to as a supermax facility. The Unabomber was convicted on 10 counts of mailing and transporting bombs as well as three counts of murder. He's currently serving eight no, consecutive crazy, life prisons man. without the possibility of parole. Krasinski was a math prodigy, but his intellect quickly became derailed by a seething hatred for the U.S. government, and oh, instead God. he sought to cause chaos and destruction. That, one agenda and Number it. five, Doug Barum. In India, one of the oldest criminal organizations in the history of the planet are a group known as the Thuggies. Believed to have been active as early as the 1300s, okay. their criminal activities were so widespread that the word Thug is believed to have been derived from the Sanskrit term for them. Their most okay. famous criminal leader, though, a man named Thug Barum who was active between the 18th and early 19th centuries, was considered to be the most dangerous and violent prisoner God, of I, all I, I, time. All in fact, he's often cited as the world's most prolific serial killer, believed no to have been involved in 931 murders, 900. all of them strangulations, between 1790 900. and 1840. Why? After his capture by the East India Company, who were active on the continent at that time, the British organization were so afraid of the inmate and his wealth of crimes that he was allegedly tied with rope and kept in a well until they knew what to do with him. Huh. Although he was executed shortly after his imprisonment, Doug Barum certainly earned his place That's as one of the most dangerous prison them. inmates Yo. of all time. Number four, Michael off. Swango. In perhaps one of the most heinous cases of a medical serial killer, like Joseph Michael Swango is responsible for the murders of over 60 people, including many of his co-workers, what? friends, and his own wife, no and way. is believed to have been tied to countless more vile crimes. As a trusted doctor, Michael Swango abused his position to give him easy access to his victims, often poisoning his vulnerable patients through their IV drips. Swango began what? his med- what I don't get is what's the point of I, like poisoning them? What what kind of like what is the rush they get from it? Are they just happy they're taking someone's life? Or the, what is it? Because especially if you're like I'm not in they're, they're all bad in every single way, but some people get some enjoyment out of like butchering people, blood not made is all wrong. But that's but is he just get the same thing from poisoning them? I don't know. It's crazy. Medical career as an intern at Ohio State in 1983. After his assignment to the university's medical center, shortly after he began, there was a series of unexplained deaths among several healthy patients being cared for on his wing. Uh. Astonishingly, Swango would somehow manage to maintain a career in the medical industry for several more decades, despite being in and out of prison for unrelated charges. 
finally, in 2000, he was sentenced to three consecutive life terms without wow. the possibility of parole. Dr. Death is serving that sentence at the ADX Florence Supermax prison, although many of his crimes are still unaccounted for. That's crazy. Number three, Charles Manson. Up until his death in 2017, okay. the influence that Charles Manson still managed Your to honor. demonstrate from behind bars of some of the most secure prison units in the U.S. gave authorities serious cause for concern. For most of his early life, Manson was an unemployed ex-convict okay. who had spent time in and out of correctional institutions across California. During this time, he became obsessed with the Beatles, particularly right. their 1968 self-titled record, also known as The White Album. Through their songs, he claimed to have been guided by their lyrics and became deranged enough to believe that their song, Helter Skelter, was compelling him to begin an apocalyptic race war. Nah, Eventually, bro, Manson's beliefs had gathered the attention they the of- word white. They didn't use the word white, it's in like white, white. They used just the word, the color, like what I'm wearing right now, stupid. Others, and by the late 60s, stupid. he had established a cult known as the Manson family. Ultimately, in 1969, his influence led to the murders of nine people, and after his conviction, he was sentenced to a Trump. life term at California State Prison. Evil, man. Number two, Rodney Alcala. Also Rodney. known as the Dating Game Killer, Rodney James Alcala is currently serving on death row at California State Prison. Death row. Astonishingly, he was given the alias, the Dating Game Killer, after he appeared on the popular television show. Why? I get there's like a process, right? And, and I suppose there's a look into death row. Like you go into it and you're there, you're there, you're there and it's very rare you get taken out of it. But I understand if the case is still ongoing or they're looking, but if you completely finish the case and it's done, why do they have to wait for like 20 years to go before they get killed? What? What's the... Uh, if, anyone under, if anyone knows, what's the... Pro why, what's the process? Why does it have to take so long? I'm not saying it's just instantly, but if they've, it's been confirmed and everyone knows and there's evidence and blah, 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 why then do they have to wait so long? The dating game in 1978 during his most active murder spree that was believed to have taken place across right, four like states passion. in the U.S., including California, New York, Wyoming, and possibly Washington. Okay. The police have often described Alica as a killing machine, and despite being tried and sentenced for five murders, his true victim count remains entirely no unknown. Way. Police suspect that it is highly likely to be much higher, possibly as many as 130 people. Whoa. Born in 1943, the dating game killer became known for his vile methods of murder. He would strangle his victims until they lost consciousness okay. before waiting for them to revive to continue the process over and no over way. again. Once he That's had risky. taken their lives, he would often arrange their corpse in strange poses before taking photographs of them. Over his murderous campaign, well, he well. compiled a collection of more than 1,000 photographs of his victims, What's wrong with this some guy? of which have never been identified. Rodney Alica remains to be one of the most heinous weird serial killers world, man. currently weird, kept weird behind bars. Yo, you're just wrong. Stay there. Number Stay one, there. Barry Mills. Yo, a criminal. What's with the moustache, big man? <laughs> oh, so yeah. notorious that his okay. incarceration has led to some the of the biggest, most you know. violent and depraved prison riots in history. All right, let's see. Also known as the Baron. Barry Mills was the leader of one of the most violent and depraved criminal organizations on the planet, okay. the Aryan Brotherhood. Oh, Following okay. his first conviction at a California state prison for armed robbery, okay. Mills joined the gang initially as means of protection. Throughout the 70s and 80s, he quickly rose up the ranks of oh, the Aryan Brotherhood oh and goodness. ultimately he became their leader, a, where he orchestrated... He's a Nazi... Uh, one of those Nazi guys. He's one of the guys that uh, support the Nazi regime and stuff like that. I mean, he should have said it with the Aryan thing, but <sighs> what's wrong with you? I swear, people are dumb, you know. People are dumb. Straighted a system you know, of drug German dealings people, like, and that, violence that across team. many prisons in like the U.S. Country. Although he died German. in 2018 at the age of 70, until his last days, Barry Mills was considered to be one of the most dangerous prison inmates 
of all time. I'm not surprised. Well, all right, guys. Well, that's the end. Of, that's the end of that. Let me know down below which one you thought was the most crazy or disgusted or disturbed, whatever you want to do. Or if there's anyone they missed out, let me know down below. Also, let me know if you like this video. Uh, if you found it interesting, if you want me to do other things like this, let me know. The only thing is, I find this guy talking, he's cool, but I find him a bit slow paced. But you let me know down below as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I thought it was quite interesting. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, yeah, please share this video and turn this post notification on. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.